The push continues tonight to get Progress Energy to move from coal to renewable energy sources. Environmentalists say it's time to take action, but the electric company says there is a reason they're not moving faster. It was remarkable coming into Asheville for the very first time, seeing that huge icon of 19th century technology spewing out lots and lots of pollution. Uh, but then a little further down the road, there's actually huge amounts of solar panels installed on people's roofs. So it's both the old and the new, and we want to accelerate the new. Bruce Niles is referring to the Progress Energy plant off Long Shoals Road. As part of the Beyond Coal campaign, he's reaching out to other environmentalists to push Progress to leave coal out of the equation. We're not saying shut it down tomorrow. We're saying let's come up with a transition, a retirement plan over the next few years, and let's work out how to do it in a way that makes economic sense, and we can see the huge pollution benefits. Progress says it's invested $200 million in modern emission controls. They also have units which operate during extreme temperatures to meet heightened customer demand. Those units operate on oil and natural gas. However, there is currently not enough natural gas supply to increase gas fueled capacity at the plant. Progress adds they're working to incorporate renewable energy, but based on cost and proven technology, they can't fulfill their requirement to reach 150,000 customers with solar and wind sources. But the Sierra Club says they need to do more. Progress Energy is not talking about retiring coal and talking about the clean energy future that we know that we need to bring about in order to um, really protect our communities and public health and the environment. Progress also adds calls for such change ignore the facts on reliability, technology, and cost, but proponents of renewable energy disagree.